What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Yoast SEO WordPress plugin. Now this plugin is one of the most popular plugins on WordPress.org. As you can see, it's active on over 5 million plus websites, has over 19,500 five-star reviews, and it's recognized as the best SEO plugin for WordPress overall. And for good reason, the team behind Yoast SEO is extremely focused on search engine optimization, has been part of the WordPress community since 2008, and it's the plugin that I use, I use it on all my websites, I use it on all my clients' websites, and I recommend it for every website that uses WordPress. Why? Because it's the best SEO plugin for WordPress, hands down. It comes with a ton of features, and it helps you to set your foundation for SEO. But in their major release, the Yoast SEO 7.0 update, there was a bug that actually impacted some websites and caused their search engine rankings to go down. So now I'm going to go straight to their website and get a, and give you their announcement on the issue. All right, so this issue does not impact the vast majority of websites, and it's an issue that they did resolve. So that's something that has to be noted. The team behind Yoast SEO discovered the issue and then resolved it very quickly. And they were public in the response and helped people check to see if their WordPress website is impacted by the bug that existed with the major update of 7.0. All right, so let's look at the article here. This article is in reference to the media attachment URLs. So the first thing they do is take full responsibility for it then they go into explaining how the bug impacts some of the uh, websites that use the plugin. So in particular, in your SEO settings, and I'll load up a website to show you this in a minute, but I'm just going to show you their announcement first. It says, you should check your website manually. You want to go to the uh, Yoast SEO settings, and then you're going to want to make sure that your redirect attachment URLs to the attachment itself is set to yes. This is going to be the setting that you want for the vast majority of websites and then save your changes. Now, if your attachment URL is set to no, this is either something you intentionally set, and this could be the case if you're a photography-based website and where you let people download photos, say for stock photos or something, or it could be unintentionally set to no. And that's where the bug exists because when they updated to the major version of 7.0, the settings were not transferred over 100%. So it defaulted to no. And that's what caused some websites to see a dramatic downturn within their search rankings. Now, why did that impact people's search rankings? Well, because of the issue of the way WordPress handles image attachments, it gives them a dedicated URL. And on that dedicated URL, you have virtually no content on there. So it's considered very thin content. And that is an issue that Google frowns upon. They don't like websites to have tremendous amount of pages or posts that doesn't provide value. So thin content, meaning virtually no content on the page, is considered a negative ranking factor for the website overall. So some websites have decreased in terms of their search engine rankings. And they explain that section over here. So they go on in this section to talk about the panda-like problems. So I'll open that page up. And this is where you can get some more information on that in terms of the low quality pages on a website and how that impacts a overall website's search engine visibility. Now, here's the good thing. Yoast SEO and the team, they have very good connections over at Google. So once they discovered this, they went over to Google and they started to talk to John Mueller and they tried to figure out how they can resolve this issue and what would be the appropriate response. And we have a direct quote over here from John Mueller. And he says, sites generally shouldn't be negatively affected by something like this. We often index pages like that for normal sites and they usually don't show up in search. If they do show up for normal queries, usually that's a sign that the site has other bigger problems. Also, over the time you mentioned, there have been various reports on Twitter and co about changes in rankings. So if sites are seeing changes, I'd imagine it's more due to the normal search changes than anything like this. So that's a direct quote from John Mueller from Google. 
But in their conversation, obviously the team behind Yoast SEO wanted to make sure they can find a way to make sure that people can regain their search engine rankings and send a signal to Google that those pages or those URLs should not be indexed. So the development team over at Yoast SEO quickly put together a plugin and it's the Yoast SEO Search Index Purge. And the purpose of this is because even when you do log into your website and you take care of the settings properly, it can take months before Google will actually take those uh, URLs and remove them from the index. So with this plugin here, this helps to expedite the issue. Now, should everybody install this plugin and use it? Well, the answer is no. First, you wanna see if you are impacted by this issue. And you can do that by going to your Google Analytics account and see if your traffic has changed within the past couple of months and if your traffic has decreased significantly. So that means you should have access to your Google Analytics and you should have the ability to look back at your historical data to see if anything's happened over the past couple of months. If nothing's happened, if your traffic has remained the same or has increased, then this bug has not impacted you. Also, if your settings are correct within your website for this uh, attachment URLs, if it's set to yes, then you're fine. We'll go back to the original article here. And over here in the traffic and rankings have decreased section, it talks about what you should do if you've been impacted. And again, it's uh, setting the attachment URL to yes within your Yoast SEO settings and also utilizing the uh, plugin that they created to deal with this issue. Now, if you're not sure if your website's been impacted by this, you should still go to your Yoast SEO settings and make sure that the uh, setting is set to yes, but don't do anything else because you don't need to use this plugin unnecessarily. All right, so now I'm gonna show you what that setting looks like. I'll log into uh, one of my WordPress installations and then we'll go over this plugin as well. So when you log into your website, what you wanna do is make sure that you go to the Yoast SEO settings area, go to search appearance, then you're gonna wanna click on the tab that says media. So again, it's gonna be in your left admin sidebar under the SEO section, search appearance, and then media tab. From here, you wanna make sure that your media and attachment URLs, that this is uh, toggled to yes. If it's toggled to no, then you might be impacted by the bug. So make sure you toggle it to yes and then save changes. If it's already toggled yes, then you should be fine. Now what I'm gonna do is test out that plugin by installing it on a local server. All right, so now I'm using my local web server and I'm using my DevWP training theme which is what I use to teach people how to code a custom WordPress theme. I'm gonna log into the admin section. And then from the admin area, I'll go to the Yoast SEO section, search appearance, go to media, and let's say it was toggled to no, then you're gonna to toggle it to yes, and just save your changes. And then we'll go back to the plugins, click on add new, and we'll type out Yoast SEO search engine purge. And if for some reason we can't find it there, it's search index purge. All right, so let's do that. Index purge. All right, so it's this one right here. Can look at the details. Let me increase the size of the screen. So the purpose of this plugin is to purge attachment URLs out of the Google's index as fast as possible. This helps sites that might have suffered from having too many thin content pages in the search index by removing them in the fastest way possible. Mind you, this has been worked on by the Yoast SEO team and they communicated the development of this plugin to the Google team itself. So that way everyone can rest assured that this method is an approved method. So what does this plugin do? Well, this plugin makes all your attachment URLs return an HTTP 410 status. It then creates an XML sitemap with a recent uh, last modified date containing all those URLs. The XML sitemap with recent post modified date makes Google spider all those URLs again. The 410 status code makes sure Google takes them out of its search results in the fastest way possible. Uh, with a nice trick, we also show end users the actual attachment image so the user experience is not as poor as when they see an error page. So this is an extension to the Yoast SEO plugin, so you obviously need that one installed. And then it goes into how long should you have this plugin running. Well, after six months, the attachment URL should be gone from the search results. If you then remove the plugin and keep your SEO's redirect setting on yes, you have the best long-term behavior for attachment URLs to redirect to the actual attachment. And then they answer the question, does Google condone this? 
and it says this method has been discussed with and okayed by Google. So then you just install it, activate it, and then you're good to go. We'll activate it there. And then from here, we're gonna go back to the SEO section, search appearance, media, and then it says these settings are being overridden by the search index purge plugin. You are actively purging attachment URLs out of Google's search index. You can read more about it here. And if anything, just save changes. All right, so that is how you can resolve the issues of the uh, bug that caused some websites to go down in search engine rankings with the major update of Yoast SEO 7.0. Again, the team over at Yoast SEO responded to the issue very quickly by one communicating with Google and then developing a plugin in order to purge the search index of those media attachment URLs. So if you've been impacted, this is how you resolve the issue. If you haven't been impacted, then just make sure that your settings are correct over within your Yoast SEO settings area. Now, some people might say that you should probably move on to another SEO plugin. Now, that's not my recommendation. Yoast SEO, the WordPress SEO plugin, is by far the number one SEO plugin for WordPress powered websites. It's extremely popular and beyond that is actively maintained by a talented group of developers who has a direct line to Google itself. I mean, the fact that they were able to pick up the phone and talk to John Mueller over at Google and come up with a remedy for this, that is significant. So that tells you that this is probably the solution you should stick with. Obviously, mistakes happen and the fact that they owned up to it quickly is a testament to their transparency. They issued the uh, announcement on their website and they went ahead and started to find remedies for the issue. All right, so hopefully you found this video helpful. I just wanted to talk to you about the bug within the Yoast SEO plugin that caused some websites to lose their search engine rankings and how you can check if you've been impacted and if you have, how to resolve it. And again, I still stand by Yoast SEO 100%. It's the plugin I use and I recommend it for all my clients and anyone using a WordPress powered website. All right, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification icon. If you have any comments, leave them down below and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Every night I'm going on the grid texting back I want you, hit you up I'm on the other side I miss you, miss you